Hello! Someday I see an ad on internet for Banggood crimping tool, complete with box of terminals, cord pin or whatever you call it, for only $19, so I can pass it for that price and simply order it. Now let's unbox and compare it to another crimping tool I got. It come in classic Banggood packaging, like plastic bag. Crimping tool is in another packaging and about 800 cord pins from 0.25 square millimeters to 6 square millimeters is stored in a nice plastic case. I will compare this cheap crimping tool with professional white miller crimping tool and some other without lever. And then we look a bit stripping tool too. Let's start with weight comparison. Looks like basic rules, heavier is better. Let's start with 0 75 square millimeters piece of wire and crimp pins on it. You can see the difference here. The left is crimped with wine miller and the right pin is crimped with Chinese crimping tool. I will show you the details later. First check the grip of pins. I strip just half of pin length wire insulation to check how much the pin grip on the wire. The wide miller pin is tight enough, but you can see how easy you can remove the Chinese crimped pin. So try to set the power of crimping tool. This is easy process. Just unscrew the bolt and set the setting gear to plus sign. So eccenter strain the spring and you got more power for crimping tool. Don't forget to screw it back. It's a lot easier to set with opening crimping tool. You can see the difference here. The left was crimped with low power, the right one was crimped with full power and can be pulled off the cable. Now compare the jaws of crimping tool. You can see the wide miller crimping tool here, which have the tiny teeth inside the jaws. This provides excellent grip of terminal. Also you got the most power with this type of tool in your hands. Now check the crimped terminals from 0 0.75 square millimeters to 6 square millimeters. Crimped terminal, not round or square shape, but some kind of rectangle. Now check the basic crimping tool without power transfer. You need some more muscles to crimp with that kind of tool. Teeth inside the jaws is much bigger. That helps you to crimp better with lower power of crimping jaws. But on the other side you can crimp 10 and 60 square millimeter pins with that tool. The bad side of that tool is that because of big teeth inside the jaws, damage the pins. Larger pins means larger damage. You can see how the tear 6 square millimeters pin. Now finally check our Chinese crimping tool. The end quality is not so good. On the first view you can see that this is the cheap tool but essential parts seem to be ok. Here you can see the details of teeth inside the jaws. Now check the crimped pin with this tool. Final shape of pin is square with sign of teeth, which is perfect for some kind of terminals. 
the biggest pros of this tool is that it's self-adjustment, so you use only one size of jaws for all size of cables, from 0.25 to 6 square millimeters. But not everything so good as it sounds. This tool uses spring for self-adjustment of power. That means that the bigger pins are crimped harder than smaller one. You can see there how much details of teeth you can see on 0.75 square millimeters or 6 square millimeters crimped pin. This is the retail price of tool I found on eBay. The second yellow crimping tool is for crimp servo connectors, so I don't show you them on that video. Now as I said, just take a quick view on a stripping tool. Ok, let's start with that old school type of stripping tool. It has a built-in spring to return it in opening position and a screw on the jaws for set the limit of cutting deep. If we want to cut with them, we must unscrew it first so there is no cutting limit. Then set the screw to a proper size of wire we want to strip and we're ready. But when you got a feeling you can easily strip all size of wires without setting the screw all the time. Pros of this tool is that the insulation cut from 4 sides so it's easy to strip off and also you got much power in your hands with this position of tool. There I have another Chinese stripping tool for a few dollars. They got pretty nice built-in cutting area. But the main function stripping is not so good. You must be very precise to put the wire in the right hole in stripping jaws, which is very time consuming. Also you got less power in your hands with that position of tool. Now see the real stripping tool from White Miller. It's all plastic and cost about $100, but this is real the best stripping tool. Let's see why. There is a knob for choose to open the jaws when strip is done or not. This prevents the wire from bending. You got settable limiter there, so you can set the length of stripped wire. This is self-adjustment type of stripping tool, so there is also a knob for the power of jaws. It's great for some older wire which is hard to strip off. And also there is a great wire cutter which cut the wire with surgical precision. My opinion is that the Watt Miller is really the best crimping and stripping tool, but this is professional and costs too much if you don't use it every day. For time to time use is this Chinese crimping tool just awesome. For that price you get much more than you can wish. That's it for today. Like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.